Okay, hey, what's up, everyone? What well, today? It's not only is it a ranting video. This video right here, I just want to. The reason why I'm making this video because, well, it's a bit, it's a bit too late for, but I don't care because. It's the reason why I'm making this video because some of these parents are just cruel as heck. They're so cruel and and, and it's just ridiculous. Some of them cut their hair. Some of them cut their hair as punishment. It's just ridiculous. Some of them beat them, beat on them, slap them in the face or something. And some of them just break their things. It's just, it's just darn wrong. It's just palm wrong. And and I really, I think I think grounding your kids. Well, the thing about grounding your kids, it depends on what reason it is. It has to be a good reason. Not reasons like you cannot play heavy metal music, or you can't play this, or you can't play that. Now that's bullcrap. You see, parents these days are getting worse. They don't know how to handle the kids, handle the kids' enjoyment. If you don't know, if you don't know how to, huh? I'm recording. Some of these, some of these parents about how they, how they abuse them much. As I was saying, some of these parents are just cruel as heck, and some of these parents are just backlog. What was I, what was I saying? Okay, these parents are just um. If the reason why I'm making this video is because um. People like grounding your children for from playing rock music or kidding is ridiculous. And I just. It makes me so angry. It makes me so angry about these parents. And thank God I don't want parents like that. Otherwise, they would have been beaten to death. That's how upset I would be if my grandparents grounded me for listening to Metallica. It would make me so angry that I would be beaten to death. Beat them to death. I'd be maybe that angry. And um, and I got to think about while I was taking a bath, and I couldn't get it out of me. So I do the way to get it out of me, make this video, I had to get it out of me. See, parents, if you, look, and all know another reason why I'm making this video, because some parents grounding their, grounding their children from listening to music loud. Look, to be honest with you, loud, loud music does not hurt you here. It does not. If you think I'm crazy, then... The Bible doesn't say about music playing music loud as you want. It doesn't say about that. I mean, you can't you can't just ground your children for stupid reasons like having your volume up. That's a stupid reason. If my parents done that, I would have beat them to death. It would make me it would make me that emotional. And. I'll be ma probably mad and sad at the same time. And then after that, I'll run away at, this, at that point. And, and or, re or reasons like, like, like doing something, either for a good reason, you cannot be cutting, cutting your child's hair. Cutting your child's hair, that is punishment. That's not punishment at all. God would never do anything like that. And the worst punishment is, worse than grounding is, this is the second one. You're breaking your children's things. That's just wrong. That is just a whole hundred percent wrong. So okay, taking their taking their things away if it's if it's for good reason. But when you over there breaking your children's things and all that, that's wrong. And you think you should be in jail for and therefore violence is not enough. Violence is not enough for your children to act right. Violence never solves anything. Violence always makes only makes things worse. Some things got to be violent in some situations, some cases. But in this case, you have to be more calm. Don't ever lose your don't ever lose your cool to kids. It's ridiculous. It's so darn ridiculous. Some of these parents over there 
and I'm trying to keep it cool myself, but my heart is just, I'm tired of some of these parents. Don't know how to, don't know how to take care of their child. If you, if you can't, if you can't, if you don't want, if you don't want your kids having fun, then why in the heck did you give birth? And that's just, that's ridiculous for you to give birth to your kids and you don't want them happy. You want them sad all the time. You want them hating you later on. Then why did you give birth? I think that shit has to change. And before I before I close this video right here at the final point, stop telling your kids to turn the volume down. Stop making it. Stop, stop making it a rule. Stop making that a rule in your house. Stop. Put that rule to the side. If it's an emergency, like seeing somebody's a robber, you think that's different. When you were saying turn your volume down because you don't want to hear, you don't want to, you, you just don't want to hear them. That's the problem. The problem is you don't want to hear, you don't want to hear their music. So that's the problem. You always, you always, you always, you always listen to the fake news. You always listen to the fake news. You listen to the fake science. Listen to the real news. Listen to the real science. It, some some of the loud stuff really is good for you. It actually is. Some of it is good for you. You know the reason? Well, if you got annoyed, noisy neighbors and stuff, it tunes them out. So you have to worry about hearing it. Loud music is good for that. It is also good for entertainment as well. And look, I I was 12 years old and I was listening to music that loud at age 12 years old. And I'm close to 20 years old, between November 28th, November 28th. And I might live to be 101, and still I, have, I will have good hearing. So don't sit here and tell me that loud music is not good for you. Some of it is. Some of it is actually good for entertainment as well. There is not such, there is no such thing as loud music. There is no such thing. Everybody listens to their music in their own way. Some people listen to music louder than others. Some people listen to music lower than others. You have to accept it. If you don't like your, if you don't like your kid listening to metal music, you're just gonna have to deal with it. You'll have to deal with it. If you can't deal with it, then then that kid can just go to another family. If, if, in other words, you've been grounding your kid. You'll be you'll be grounding your kid for that reason. And I believe it should be against the law if they were to do so. And there was a Bible verse here. I'm going. I'm going to read this to you. It says, Corinthians 6.12, and tell you, I don't mind, I don't read the Bible, but I'm going to read this to you to, 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 to make a point. Everything's permissionable for me, but not all things are beneficial. Everything's permissional for me, but I will be in, enslaved by anything and brought under it, its power. I allow, to, I allow it to control me. All music is susceptible. The Bible says all music. See, all music. You know what all music is? All music is every music in the world. It doesn't matter if you listen to satanic. It doesn't matter if you listen to heavy metal. It doesn't matter if you listen to Pop music doesn't matter. You listen to baby music. All music is acceptable. And you're grounding your kids just, just, just for, just for not accepting that. Then you're not just. Then you're not. You're all, not only you're not. Not only you're not. Not only you're bad parents. You're also false Christians. Mm -hmm. Something called either you're not a Christian or you're some anti Christian. Anti Christ is extreme evilness. 
took me five, it took me about two years, took me a year to realize the Antichrist is, is the straight up evil. Evil. A lot of those Jews can go to hell. The Bible says all music is acceptable. So parents, that's the final, that's the final word for you. Quit abusing children. Quit breaking my heart. What breaks my heart about some of you doing some of your doings? What breaks my heart about, about you about you teaching your children this you're not teaching the right things? What breaks what really breaks my heart? You're grounding them from the music they love and that breaks my heart then deep in here. It just it it, it bothers me when you when you grounding your children for just for a stupid for that for the reason for the stupid reason I'm then the end of it I'm talking about. That just really breaks my heart. Quit doing that. Quit worrying about if they're gonna have bad hearing or not. Quit worrying about it. James Hetfield is in his sixties. He don't got bad hearing. Look at old Brian Johnson in his seventies, probably in his late seventies now, and still plays loud music. Look at old that guy from Vogue Pickens. He's got he listens to loud music. It don't hurt his ears. And. There's people in their 70s and 80s and 90s, maybe in their early 100s, and guess what? Some of them still listen to loud music, and they don't hurt their ears. They still got good hearing. So, the topic of this video is, wake the heck up. Stop abusing children for stupid reasons. It doesn't matter what reason it is. Stop abusing. Stop using punishment as a way to abuse children. I cannot stress this enough. And I cannot even say this better than myself. Jesus Christ can tell you better than, better than I can. Quit abusing God's children. I've had enough. I cannot stress this enough. And I don't understand why it, can, it just cannot click in your heads. And for those who, for those who abuse me, like, for those who abuse me, quit it. It's enough. I cannot, I can't, I don't understand why I don't click in your head. For others that abuse me, stop it. Stop using me, stop using me for evil. Stop it. And it was a major subscribe, smash the like, and click on occasion. My sick guys for walking on something accomplished. Have a good night.